colors and non-colors have quite an influence on people and since most people function unconsciously 90 to 95 percent of their time well colors have an increased influence upon them because everything is even by science nowadays proven to be well more or less energy and energy has a certain influence upon you because your whole body is made of energy and obviously it has a certain way it functions each energy wave has its own way of being and well obviously as something which is part of a larger system will obviously have things that will influence it in good ways or in let's say less um, or in bad ways let's say even if good and bad are you know uh, something that either fit you or they don't fit you right so when it comes to the color black black as a non-color actually many people say color black but it's a non-color well it is the result of an object absorbing all the uh, light right within the spectrum something that you see as a color basically in reality it is not that color because what you see is light bouncing off of surfaces or being reflected or rejected by that uh, objects uh, surfaces let's say properties right since everything is energy and functions at certain vibrations all objects around you will bounce off light a part of light will be bounced off and so that which is bounced off you will perceive as being the color of that object but in reality it is the opposite you see leaves because for example leaves uh, reject green light but technically they are everything but green light right because they absorb those colors and they reject green and you receive it as green but basically the true color of those would be everything but the green that you see so life in a way can easily be perceived in reverse a sick society will also portray your life as being worthy of living only in reverse because when you fight against what you are and who you are that's when you actually make it easy for society to control you see a lot of people are drawn to the color black because black is a universal attractor all objects that are black basically absorb all or as much of the light spectrum and only reflect a little bit that's why you also call it a black hole in space because it absorbs all light and not even light can um, escape its grasp, right? So a black hole that doesn't absorb anything right now, right? It doesn't have mass moving around it and, you know, it's slowly gorging on it. Well, it is fully invisible, right? Because, well, if sun rays go around it, well... Yes, you will have some distorted views, but still the black hole will be invisible. It's a bit hard for me to explain things like this, and I don't want to go into too many details, because I don't want to make hour-long videos. But black is a universal absorber, right? It means that that object absorbs as much as possible from the light. This feature also goes for black clothes. When you wear black clothes, obviously you absorb everyone's emotions and, well, everything that goes on around. You have to understand every emotional output that you make. It's not just an emotion that you feel inside of you. The whole room is basically painted in the emotions of the people who are inside, right? That is why Christianity tells you when someone dies, well, you wear black. You wear black when someone dies, you absorb all that death energy, all that decay, all those energies that, you know, the misaccomplishments, the frustrations of that person, you absorb them. The purpose of this is to keep you ignorant and to keep you in misery. When you are ignorant, these impulses within you will obviously take control. See, when you are conscious and you think about things and you take decisions consciously, you will see that many impulses, especially self-destructive behaviors, aren't that strong against you. When you slip back into unconsciousness, you will see that all those things will pop back up, right? Like, for example, smoking and other destructive behaviors, right? But you are taught and programmed by society that smoking and the such are good for you because they make you look a badass, right? It's the femme fatale energy or wounded feminine energy, whatever way you want to call it. 
a narcissistic society will always function in that energy because its own purpose is to teach you wrong, to teach you that uh, being in pain is the only a way to live in and not only that but also revel in it and accept it as the greatest honor right the greatest peak of your existence is pain and you must revel it cherish it right worship it even because that's how twisted people can become through generations and countless other generations of ignorance and well in ignorance well ignorance means separation when people don't get their attention well I've always said, lack of attention is the seed of all evil. Because when people don't get their attention, they're capable of doing anything to prove that they are worthy. And, well, no one teaches you what means, you know, to be worthy of attention. When you wear black, the problem is you absorb other people's misery. And since most of the people in this world are miserable, and, you know, they invest, that's the problem, they invest their energy in their misery, they will be attracted sooner or later by the color black because those impulses of feeling destructed, uh, a ruin, abandoned, right? They cannot exist permanently. They simply dissipate slowly and surely. So they will require energy in order to survive. You have to understand those impulses are like some spirits, are like some entities that are slowly dissipating. So they need your energy to simply, uh, you know, keep surviving and they will bug you off and the, every time you think about those and you act the way they make you function well you're slowly feeding them your energy so technically you're prolonging their capacity over you ignoring them does the same thing except at a stronger thing at a stronger rate so the point is you have to simply learn how to not react to these thoughts and how to think otherwise or always function in this way Think about something else, like you can think about something more peaceful instead. You let that thought, that impulse or whatever simply come in. But the point is, it can be overwhelming at times, yes. But the idea is you have to be in a way rough, right? When you feel that, you know, you can't quit smoking by smoking less. You either quit it for good or you simply fail to quit at it, right? And the longer you do it, the harder it is for a certain period of time, then you simply quit it. Well, sooner or later, depending on how strong each and everyone's uh, mind is and how worthy they think they are of a healthy life, because this is the premise. If you think within yourself or you're convinced that you're not worthy of a healthy life, you will easily fall for every impulse that will make you commit self-destruction, right? So when this comes into mind, well, there is little defense left. So the point is, wearing black sooner or later will be an epitome of your existence because, well, you can't attract more misery if you don't open yourself up, right? Wearing white is the opposite effect because white means it rejects most colors of the light spectrum. That is why when a burial would happen, well, you should always wear white so that you're not absorbing those deathly energies that there are, right? You have to make sure about these because, well, all colors have a certain influence on you. Well, feel free to disregard this, but don't be surprised if your life goes in the same way again and again and again, and, well, you're going to live the same pains while hoping that some miracle will happen and your life will be simply solved. Even if that would happen, you will still invest in your own misery because you haven't invested for a long time in anything else. So it is your only comfort zone, unfortunately, and in most situations. When people invest all their energy into their misery, they will more or less be attracted to the color black. Especially since, you know, society made it a trend that you work in corporatism or in any or in many domains of action. Well, you have to wear black because it makes you look a badass. Well, that is only a, a perception that you have. In a society where you are ignored and abandoned ever since you were young, and also lied and cheated on ever since you were young, well, why do you think you would look a, like a badass, right? Because if everyone's ignorant, they don't care about you, so why would it, would it matter how you dress up? You dress up in black, you also absorb their misery as well. This being said, Hopefully this video raised a bit of awareness, you are appreciated, take care, looking to see you in the next video, Ferengian Board signing out.